Hello. It's, it's getting kind of kind of close to Christmas. Can you tell? Well, anyways, that's that's not what I want to talk about today. Today, I want to talk with you about how to set up TypeScript for Node.js. Um, it bears a lot of potential. TypeScript is really cool. It speeds up your development process, makes you make less errors. It increases maintainability. It just has a lot of advantages for your Node.js project. Now to integrate TypeScript, it's very useful to first understand how TypeScript works. First the compiling and then the uh, JavaScript behind it. I'm going to explain all that in this video. When I first learned those concepts, it was really interesting to me. Um, and I think I can share that interesting behavior with you. It's gonna be cool, so let's get right into it and let's take a look at how to integrate TypeScript in Node.js. Get started. Um, let's create a new folder. So let's call it TS Node Demo. And then here we're gonna go into VS Code. Now the uh, initializing commands we're gonna run, you could also run in the CMD. So you could just say CD TS um, Node Demo because essentially uh, oh, well, same thing, but you need to go to the desktop first and then run that. Um, we're going to use the VS Code terminal. Um, I just prefer that, but it's the same thing, so it doesn't really matter. Now, to initialize our project, we're going to say npm init dash y. And the dash y is just going to mean um, just accept all the default options, so we're skipping the whole questionnaire um, that we normally have to do with a package.json. And also, let's create an index.ts. This is um, that is going to be like our main server file. And also we would probably want to change the main in here. Now, um, in here we can say console log one, two, three, and let's see what happens if we run that. So node index.ts. Aha, so it logs out one, two, three. So the TypeScript file is working, right? So it's running the TypeScript. So Josh, what is this, what is this video even about? What are we doing here? Um, well, the thing is, um, if we take a look at what happens when we use actual TypeScript, so cons add numbers and let's hope GitHub Copilot will, yes, do some assistance for us. And then we can uh, add number one, two. Um, so in this case, we're using actual TypeScript, right? We're using the, um, the specific types we're mentioning. And then we're trying to use the function to add numbers. Now let's save that file and let's run the same thing again. Aha, interesting. So now it throws an error, unexpected token colon, um, and it points at this colon right here. So essentially what Node is trying to do is read this file, but Node only understands JavaScript. It doesn't understand TypeScript. So how do we get Node to understand TypeScript and therefore, you know, code or whole Node and uh, maybe express project in TypeScript? Well, there is a command um, that we need to use and that is npx tsc dash dash init and what that command is going to do is generate a ts config for us now by default it's going to have some um, default values in here like um, es 2016 and common js and um, we can we can take a look at exactly what happens um, so we can run tsc which means typescript compile and then index.ts now what we're doing with this command is compiling the typescript we have in here um, into normal JavaScript that Node knows what to do with. So when we run that command, you can see um, an index.js file was created in our project directory. And then here there is um, the same code, but in a different syntax. So we can see var add number instead of const add number. And we can see the types have been completely removed. So this is a completely normal JavaScript file that knows that Node knows how to deal with. So if we run the same file just with the .js extension, node index.js, aha, Node now knows what to do with it. And we can console log um, this add number instead of just doing it without any purpose. Let's run it again. And we can see the result of the add number. Whereas when, when we run the index.ts, um, it doesn't know what to do. So first off, before being able to run the TypeScript, we need to compile it. Now, um, doing it this way would be very time consuming, right? So each time we want to do that, we have to say tsc index.ts and then run that uh, JS file. That's not really what we want to do. So one thing um, that is very, very beneficial to do is create um, two folders first off. Um, that's just what I personally like to do because I think it's better for larger projects. 
um, create one server and then not in the server but at the same level we want to create a dist folder now if you don't know dist stands for distributable and essentially um can i can show you so dist folder meaning coding um essentially it's for production code so in here it says the dist folder contains the minimized version of the source code um so essentially just the source code that's ready to run um optimized for production and to get the code in here instead of the you know root um of the project whenever we compile we can go into the TS config because this is where we do that and then we can search for uh, output well where is it uh, output out there right here we can go for the out directory and then here we can say um, slash dist so this means uh, whenever we run the compiler it's not going to put the files it compiles down into the root of the folder but instead into the, the disk so we can say uh, tsc server slash index.ts remember we changed the directory so we need to mention that here and as you can see um, at the root level nothing was created but oh in the disk in the disk um, nothing was created either um, let me check why that is the case Okay, so the reason it wasn't put in dist, um, simple mistake, um, instead of running uh, tsc server slash index.ts, because then you'll notice it will put the file in the same directory, which is not what we want. Um, instead, the only thing we need to run is simply tsc. And because uh, with that command we did previously, the, um, this one, we are overwriting the output directory, which is not what we want. And when using just tsc, it will read the out dir from the uh, TypeScript config and then use the uh, one we actually want, which is the dist. And if you've never seen what compiled TypeScript code looks like, well, you know, nothing nothing very surprising. It's just a regular plain old JavaScript. And uh, I still found that very interesting the first time I tried it though. And uh, I remember experimenting um, with imports. So for example, if we were to say import fs from fs, so the file system, which is something we get by default in Node. Now for that, we also want the npm e e install the add types slash node as dev dependencies. Um, and that is gonna solve the, uh, the, the error that it doesn't know where the fs is coming from. And then down here, we could say fs.write file sync and uh, write into test.txt and we are just writing test. However, we're not actually gonna run this. Um, instead, we're gonna save and look like uh, and look at what this looks like as um, TypeScript code. So let's run TSC again. And now it's gonna compile the input down to what we specified in the uh, tsconfig.json. So ES2016 and CommonJS imports. So that means if you go into index.js, um, interesting, the import, look at what the import has become. The import has turned into this. Like, okay, that is that is different. So it's very, very verbose about how we are importing something. So it makes sure that really every browser understands um, what we're trying to do. We are defining the property exports ES module value true. So it's very verbose. And then only here are we actually importing uh, with this var that we've defined up here. So every browser really understands what we're trying to do. And then it changed the um, fs.writefilesync to fs1, uh, a constant we've defined up here, dot default dot write file sync. So um, this is the beauty of TypeScript. Um, it compiles down to something that really every browser understands and not just the you know more modern ones. And uh, you can you can try changing some things up here. So instead of common JS, we want ES um, 2022. So a very modern one. And as you can see, that also changes the import. Um, so only the modern browsers that understand ES 2022 will also understand this import. So I found that very interesting the first time I actually compiled you know, TypeScript into JavaScript. Now, um, that would still be quite inconvenient to run, right? Every time you'd have to run TSC and then node, this slash um, index.js. That is not really way what? Um, cannot use import statement outside a module. Well, um, it doesn't really matter. I just want to show you what the um, import looks like. Uh, we don't need to worry about that for now. Essentially, um, it would be quite cumbersome to always have to 
uh, compile and then run the um, actual file. So we don't want that. So what we can do is go to the um, package.json, um, have a start script and say TSC and end. So after we do that, that is the syntax we use in the package.json, we can see, uh, we can say node server, and um, now we want the dist and then uh, index.js, that's what we call it. And now we can say npm run start. That is gonna compile, and after that, it's gonna run the code. So as you can see, it compiles first, then runs the code. There are packages, however, um, that make this even more convenient. But I wanted to really make sure before getting into those packages that you understand the process of what we need to do to actually run TypeScript in Node.js. So that means we are compiling the, the stuff first. So we are compiling TypeScript to JavaScript and then running the JavaScript file. And um, now that you understood that, there's actually packages that do that for you. But I think understanding the concept is very important. So for example, uh, TS node is one package that is very popular. And um, the way we use that is say npm install, um, wait, what was it called again? Uh, TS node. And we can install that as a dev dependency. We do not need that as an actual you know, production dependency. Um, and instead of having all this stuff with a this directory um, and the uh, double command that we have in the package.json, instead we could say ts node and then server slash index dot ts. And um, if you take a look at what ts node really is, it's nothing different. Um, so I remember somewhere it said it just uh, pre-compile, yeah, it just in time transforms TypeScript into JavaScript, enabling you to directly execute TypeScript on Node.js without pre-compiling. Now, pre-compiling is what we did with TSC, right? That is the pre-compiling and then running. So um, TS Node does the same thing under the hood, just without you knowing it, and you don't need it. This directory just automatically um, runs it uh, from a different directory. So you don't really um, notice what happens under the hood. And that allows you with this npm package to directly execute TypeScript files. So we can say npm run start. Let's see what happens. And as you can see, um, it does the same thing, right? Remember when we pre-compiled first, it was this right here. Um, now it runs ts node server index.ts. And this, the same thing happens. So we can run regular TypeScript um, because first we are compiling it down to JavaScript and then running the JavaScript. Now, um, on one hand, in the first approach, we did that ourselves. And then in the second one, we let a NPM package do that for us. Not everybody wants um, to depend on a lot of NPM packages. I think this one is safe to depend upon. That, that is not a big problem. Um, it's a very lightweight one, so it doesn't really matter. But uh, understanding what we're doing is very important for actually being able to successfully integrate TypeScript into Node.js, in my opinion. So now, after installing the package, we can get rid of a lot of this stuff. So we don't need the uh, dist folder anymore. We can completely remove that. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So now we can, whenever we want to run the server, say npm run start, that's going to do the pre-compiling and the running completely for us, and then uh, give us the desired output with actual TypeScript code. OK. Uh, I found that really interesting the first time I tried it, so I wanted to share it with you. I really hope you found it as interesting as I did. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. That was all I wanted to show you. Have a good one, and until then, bye-bye.